Hello everybody and welcome back to another CB Showtunes tutorial. Now today's tutorial is all about learning how to use the get component function inside Unity C Sharp scripting. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing that you need to understand is what a component is. So if you take a look at our inspector over here and see this little button called add component. If you select that, you can see all these different options that you have. These are your components. So what we're going to do is we're wanting to change a variable inside a script on our component. So if you notice, we have this getting component right here as an empty game object uh, with this script called example bull. Now this, of course, is not a script that's going to be completely usable anywhere inside a game. And that's, of course, your game's based on that one Boolean. Uh, but we'll get into the script um, in a second. So we have two different empty game objects. One's called getting components. The other's called grabbing components. So on the getting components, we have our example bull script. You can call this whatever you want to call it. It's just a single bull. And of course, we have our grabbing component script. And of course, that of course is on that same one, our grabbing component. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our script real fast. So on our example bull, it's just a simple public bull. It doesn't have any void start or void update function. It just says public bull, normal bull is equal to false. Now, if you don't have this set to any value, it's going to set as default to whatever value it is inside the inspector. Uh, but I would advise setting a value starting off if there's nothing inside this code except this. Okay, and on our other script, which of course is our grabbing component, we have a public and we are going to be calling the script that we want to grab. So take a look at this. We have our example bool. So what we're going to do is we're writing public, grab the script, target script. So we're calling this script now, this script. Now to be able to grab this script, we're going to select this game object and drag the object that we want or that the script is attached to onto it. And it will automatically grab our script for us. Now the next thing that is absolutely necessary or not really absolutely necessary, but it saves a whole lot of time when you're programming is to write this inside the void start function. Simply put in your variable. So our example bool is equal to our example bool dot get component example bool. So basically now we are going to just have to call this one variable instead of writing this down every single time we want to call a function in this script. Okay, so we head over here to the void update function and we're just going to be accessing a key code. So we're gonna say if input dot get key down key code dot t. Next, we're gonna say if target script dot normal bool is not equal to true, then we're going to put target script dot normal bool is equal to true, else it's gonna be equal to false. And what this does is it pretty much just allows us to toggle our Boolean on and off without even having to touch that script. So let's take a look at this inside of Unity when we press play. So I'm gonna go ahead and press T. As you can see, our Boolean lights up inside the inspector. And of course, if I press T again, it takes it off, put it on, off, on, off, whatever you want it to do. Now there's so many different options that you can actually do for this. So recently I had a question on my channel that basically was trying to figure out how to disable a certain key code whenever like a menu was on or whatnot. Now this is actually very easily accomplished. It just depends on how, how you have your setup made. So I'm gonna actually do this live. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to basically put a public Boolean and we're gonna call this keyboard lock. Okay, pretty simple, right? Next, we're gonna put void update. And inside this, we're gonna say if 
keyboard locked or if not keyboard locked then we're going to put in our value so we're going to say if input dot get key uh, down let's do that then we're going to say key code dot escape right so this allows us to choose what we want to do inside this so choose action right so basically whatever action is going to be happening if our keyboard is equal to false or our keyboard locked is equal to false. Now what we're going to do is basically let's go ahead and head over here now. And we're going to keep this example bool target script and we're just going to just change this right here. So we're going to say keyboard locked as you can see it automatically updated. And we're going to say keyboard locked and go ahead and adjust that keyboard locked perfect and so now whenever we decide to access this right here it's going to lock the keyboard or not so let's go ahead and make this do something so we're going to let's go ahead and add a component onto this one right here so we're going to say a mesh renderer yeah, let's do that. And materials, we're going to find a material. Yeah, that looks good. And we're also going to need to add a, a mesh, not mesh collider. What am I thinking? We need to add do, 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 do. Uh, to box collider. Okay, mesh render, mesh filter. That's what it is. I was sitting there looking for it or something. Okay, so we're just going to add a random one. It doesn't matter what it is. And we're just going to drag it up a little bit. And we're going to also add a box collider so it can land. Perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the y-axis move. So that's what our action is going to do. We're going to say transform.translate uh, right there. Zero, zero, one. In fact, we're just going to make it a 0.1 F. Okay, so as long as our keyboard's not locked, now uh, if we press the escape key, then it, this is going to happen. So perfect. And we're going to make sure that this keyboard locked is right there. And we're going to press play. So perfect. So here we go. Uh, keyboard locked is equal to... Oh, there it is. Okay, so keyboard locked is still there, right? So now we're going to press escape. And as long as we hold down the escape button, it's going to allow us to move, right? Let's go and lock it now. If I hold down the escape button now, it doesn't move. But if I unlock it, it moves. So think of this script right here as pretty much a, a way to be able to, say, for instance, if you pull up a menu screen, you can disable or enable that menu screen based on what you want it to do. And all you need to do is make sure that you lock it using a Boolean, and of course, be able to use this function right here by grabbing the component, and then just changing the Boolean through that component. Okay, I hope you guys understood well enough how this git component works, or this git component function works. If you have any questions regarding this or any other tutorial, also, if you have any questions regarding any new tutorials that you think you'd be interested in, uh, please leave a comment inside the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer those questions or try to make a video for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys next time.